All right, so I want to talk today in this video about the oxidative conversion of cyclohexanone with an organolithium reagent into this cyclohexane with a substituted OH group and a substituted methyl group, both on carbon-1 here. Um, and this is going to be a 1-2 addition because, in this case, oxygen is going to be counted as 1, and then this first carbon here will be counted as 2. So we're adding something onto the oxygen. We're protonating it, which is going to end up being with our second reagent here, water. And then, of course, we are adding this methyl onto group 2, with this carbon here, so that's a 1-2 addition. All right, so how are we going to go about doing this? Let's look at the beginning of this mechanism and see what goes on here. First off, I think the best thing for us to do is to look at this, um, uh, the cyclohexanone, and draw in the lone pairs of electrons around this oxygen and look at what kind of uh, partial dipoles we're going to have here. Well, the oxygen is going to be super electronegative, we know that, so we're going to have a partial negative charge here, and we're going to have a partial positive charge on this carbon, on this guy right here. So, when we have our organolithium reagent, this side is going to be partially positive and be partially negative, okay? So, when this side's partially negative, that means that this side is going to want to have a nucleophilic attack onto the electro, slightly electropositive parts of our uh, parent compound over here. So, this guy is going to attack right there. And when it does that, of course, we've made five bonds to this carbon, which is not okay. So what do we need to do? Well, let's kick off some of the electrons uh, in this carbonyl here onto the oxygen as lone pairs. And what type of product will this yield? Well, what we're going to end up getting is, well, of course, we'll have our six-membered cyclic ring still. And we'll have a sigma bond to this oxygen now. And the oxygen will have three lone pairs, making it negatively charged. And we have added a methyl group onto carbon-1 here. So we have CH3 added. All right. Now what's going to take place? Well, let's look at our second step. We've gone ahead and we've added the uh, organolithium reagent. Now let's go ahead and add water to this mixture. So let's go ahead and draw in some water. All right, now when we go ahead and add water to this, what's going to happen is we have this methyl group here. I'm um, sorry, not the methyl group. We have this negative oxygen here, and this is going to want to attack, do a nucleophilic attack to this hydrogen. So let's use this pin here. All right, and when it does that, of course, it's going to kick off the electrons in the OH here onto this oxygen, giving it a, a breaking, up, breaking this off, giving us an OH group with a negative charge and yielding a final product of, let's go ahead and write this down. We will have our six-member cyclic ring The um, double bond here, of course, can serve throughout the entire reaction. It does not react with anything. And we have protonated the oxygen here, so we have a sigma bond to the OH group. And we have our methyl group added right here. All right. And so this is what we wanted to get to. Yes, it is. Well, there we go. <laughs> Should have had that drawn in from the beginning, my bad. We have effected a 1-2 addition, a 1-2 oxidative addition with a methyl lithium here, an organolithium reagent. And we have arrived at our final product, but we're not done entirely because, of course, when we did this to water, we put off a negative OH group. So now this is our final product plus a hydroxy group. And that's it.